33 ton 5 foot hydraulic press brake. Model TI HB 33 5. Let's take a look at some of the features. Opening up the end guard, we can take a closer look at the tooling. You've got a top offset punch and a four way rotational bottom die. Additionally, you can see the light curtain here, and you can see this bed. It's 63 inches, and it's got a front T slot and a back T slot to allow your clamps and your material support arms to adjust indefinitely. Additionally, the top punch is held into place with quick change tooling holders. And when you gotta rotate your bottom die, you do so using this chain, using the top ram to lift the bottom die. Let's take a look at the control panel of the machine. This control panel controls both the ram travel down or the y-axis, this would be your bending adjustment, and the back gauge, your x-axis. And it has three operating modes, single mode, inch mode, and continuous mode. Now this controller will handle up to 40 programs and up to 25 bends per program. Now let's take a look at the ram stroke adjustment. This press is equipped with a three-speed ram. The speeds included are rapid approach, bending cycle with dwell time, and rapid retreat. Now the rapid approach of this ram is set right here. And the upper limit of the ram stroke is set here. Now let's take a look at some of the safety features of the machine. As you can see here, this is the light curtain. And you can see right now, it's not broken. Meaning, if the machine was on, it would complete its bending cycle. However, you can see a green light there. And when you see if I break that with my hand, you can see that that light registers and changes to red, indicating that the safety sensors are working and would stop the downward travel of the ram. Opening up the end guard of the machine, you can see right here that there's a safety sensor. So if the end guards of the machine are open, it's gonna stop or prevent the operation of the press brake. Now we're looking at the back side of the press brake where you can clearly see that access to the back gauge is a sliding door, not a door that opens out. A sliding door takes up a lot less space and allows you to get this press brake in a smaller shot. Additionally, there's a sensor right here that when this door is open, the back gauge will not run. Now we're looking at the back gauge of this machine and you can see that it's definitely built with high quality components. You have your back gauge and your two adjustable fingers. Additionally, you can see each finger has a micro adjustment. Now that's just a basic overview of our 33 ton 5 foot press. Not to mention, it's got integrated LED work lights, material support arms, and easy to use foot control. Now for more information on this press or any other metalworking machinery, give us a call or visit TommyIndustrial.com.